Hello people, welcome to T-Boys TV. Obviously we are back again with a T-Boy Discusses. Obviously it's been a few months uh, since I've done the last one of these. Obviously it's the topics, uh, mainly now that it is the transfer window. I'm going to be putting them into the T-Boy Discusses playlist. But obviously today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about Harry Eisted. Uh, obviously it's been announced today uh, that he is gone uh, to Charlton Athletic. Now, it's a good signing for Charlton Athletic, in my opinion. Obviously, his time at Luton, uh, he, he was there for a good few years. You know, as we know, he just never really got that game time. You know, a lot of fans wanted him to see see him play more, sorry, than he did, um, including myself. But then the more I think about it, you know, never really got that chance. So were they seeing something in training that we wasn't? Um, you know, even in a lot of the FA Cup games, you know, the season just good. I, I wanted to see him in them sort of games, you know, a standout game, probably his best game that he had for Luton, in my opinion, was probably the Chelsea game in the FA Cup, the 3-2 defeat, made some really good saves, obviously, at that time, Chelsea were club world champions, uh, just spat on my leg by accident, but yeah, like, and he'd done really well when he come on, obviously, he come on for Steer, who we had at the time on loan, and, you know, he's definitely got, got you know, potential, that's for sure. Obviously, he is 26, so he, he's, he's a bit older than other players that you would say have the potential. But based on him not playing awfully a lot for us, you know, he has got quality. You know, you can see it. Even when he was at Barnsley last season, obviously, he was on at Barnsley. Obviously, he's rumoured to go back there or go to uh, uh, Charlton. Obviously, he did make... Some good saves in the final. Two wicked saves. Very good saves. Uh, quite unfortunate in the end. Obviously, Sheffield Wednesday scored right at the end of the game in extra time. But I think I think there is a good keeper there. And if you are a Charlton fan watching this, I, I think it's a very good signing. Uh, and I think it's one you guys should definitely be happy with. Especially if you saw, like I said, what he done at Barnsley. Even like I said, look, look at that Chelsea game, three-two. Um, you know, defeat. He come on and he done very well in goal. So definitely think there's a good keeper there. I just think as well with us progressing. Obviously, I mentioned it in the Hatter show yesterday. I don't think he's quite there, especially with us being in the Premier League now. You know, we've been linked with numerous amount of keepers as we know. Um, but what does it mean for Luton? Do you think we will go out? And get two goalkeepers now. Because the way I look at it. I think Walton is definitely going to be part of next season. Uh, I don't think he'll start. You know, I think the keepers we're looking at. Begovic, Travers. You know, them sort of ones will be the ones that start. But I think Walton being a fairly new signing as well. It would make sense to keep him in that sense. Shea, I actually think Shea will get loaned out. Um, to maybe a championship club or, or league one. Let me know what you think on that. Um, again, as much as when he come in in that Nottingham Forest game, we was all a bit, you know, worrying because Sluga was, you know, obviously doing bits at the time. Shea done all right, but I don't think he's Premier League quality. Um, so let me know what you reckon happens with the goalkeeper situation. Me personally, I think we get someone in like Begovic, might even get Travers in as well. Um, and then have Walton as a third choice potentially. That's how I could see it. And then Shea gets loaned out. I could see something like that. But let me know what you guys think uh, on that. And let me know what you think as a whole about Eisted going really. I'm not too disheartened. Like I said on the Hatter Show, I, I would have sold him anyway. Because I think, you know, where we are now wasn't really being played anyway. It just makes sense, doesn't it, really? Um, you know, to... To, to, to get rid of him in that sense. But wish him all the best. You know, the times he did play for us, you know, weren't an awful lot, but weren't too bad. Like I say, that Chelsea game. Uh, he only played one game in the league last season, which was Stoke. You know, I can't I can't really remember that game. All I remember from that is it was Nathan Jones' final game and you could just see the players' heads weren't there because of the situation that was going on with Nathan Jones. You know, leaving and rumoured with Southampton and all that. So... It's one of them, it's one of them, but yeah, let me know what you think. Obviously, this weren't going to be an awfully long video because it's a bit difficult with Ice there because he didn't play a lot of games for us. But let me know what you think that we will do now with our goalkeeper situation. If you're a Charlton fan, let me know what you think about the signing. Luton fans, let me know as well. And even neutrals, you know, if you know a fair bit about Harry Ice there, do let me know. 
but yeah don't forget to smash the like on the video if you haven't already do subscribe to the channel uh, if you are new and uh, turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload or a scheduled stream you want to follow me across any of my socials link to them are also in the description and do subscribe uh, to the other channel as well tboys tv extra link to that is also in the description and until next time i'll keep updated as transfer stuff happens so yeah until next time take care and peace Thank you.